The three Bedford County firefighters hospitalized are all expected to be home tonight. They were fighting flames at a home in Bedford Saturday when a May Day call went out. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons first brought us this breaking news last night. He joins us now live from the scene. Taj, what's the latest on the investigation? The firefighter now knows what caused this fire. He finished up his investigation a few hours ago, but he was not the only person that came to investigate. The grandfather of the firefighter who was airlifted came out earlier today, and before he left, I made sure to ask how they are doing in their recovery. David Yates says his granddaughter, Logan Thomas, always had a passion for firefighting. She's a good one, too. She's been doing it ever since she's been in high school and stuff, volunteering and stuff like that. But he was afraid her calling would someday lead to a call like this. May 14 was declaring a mayday, Alpha Division firefighter now. Every time I hear a fire or something, I wonder, is Logan now? Is Logan now? Yates says his granddaughter passed out fighting this house fire on Joppa Mill Road on Saturday, and she was flown to a hospital in Winston-Salem. They took my granddaughter in a helicopter down in North Carolina to because I thought maybe they'd done something to our lungs. Two other Bedford County firefighters were taken to hospitals nearby because of the fire. Lynchburg Fire Marshal Thomas Good says it was sparked by a surge protector plugged into an extension cord. The homeowner told him several appliances were connected to it. She gave me a good idea. It was a dehumidifier, a battery charger, and possibly a deep freezer. Yates came to the scene Sunday morning to try and put himself in his granddaughter's shoes. He says Thomas is already feeling much better and that she will soon return to the job she loves. I just talked to my son, so, but he said she's, they were going to release her today. As you mentioned, Jessica, Bedford County Fire Chief Jack Jones mentioned that all three of the firefighters injured are expected to be released by the end of the night. One of them was actually released last night. As far as the family that lives here, they escaped without any injuries, and Red Cross is helping them out and getting through this tough time. For now, reporting live in Bedford County, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.